guys, this is Paul from Nihilo Concepts in Stewart, Florida. Today we're going to talk about our Nihilo Concepts throttle position sensor setting tool. All the new motocross and off-road fuel injected models come with a throttle position sensor on the throttle body. And it's very, very important that the throttle position sensor is set to a specific value. Our Nihilo Concepts tool is made out of billet aluminum, heavy duty wiring, marine grade heat shrink, OEM connectors. It's virtually indestructible. Very easy to use. This is a tool that should be in every mechanic's toolbox. This is the most user-friendly tool in the world so far. Installation is very easy. All you gotta do is remove the seat. After you remove the seat, you have to locate your diagnostics communication port. On the 2023 models, it's a red port like this. On the prior models, and 2024 models, it's gonna be a natural color plug that'll look like this. Now we locate your throttle position sensor, which is always on the left side of the motorcycle, directly on the throttle body. You wanna remove the case, once you locate your throttle position sensor, you proceed to disconnect, and you take your Nihilo Concepts TPS setting tool and connect it. One end goes to the sensor, the other end goes to the harness. The next step is to power up the bike with your power up dongle. This is a device that you should have in your document packet when you bought the motorcycle new. You simply connect it, and your TPS setting tool is now working. So now that your Nihilo Concepts TPS setting tool is powered up, you wanna check the throttle position sensor for the proper settings. Make sure to turn your idle screw, which is the red knob, counterclockwise all the way until you feel no resistance from the spring. At this point, you do the same thing with the yellow knob, which is your fast idle knob. You turn it counterclockwise all the way until it stops. The yellow knob has clickers on it, so you'll feel it clicking as you turn. At this point, after both knobs were turned counterclockwise all the way out, you should be at 0.40. That would be your baseline point. That means your throttle valve is fully closed. This one is at 0.38, so let's proceed to adjust. In order to adjust the TPS to reach our desired baseline number, which is 0.40, you want to loosen up both adjusting bolts from the throttle position sensor. Once your bolts are loose, you want to rotate the TPS slightly to either side to see where the numbers go. In this case, if I go up a little bit from this side up, I can see that I'm coming up to the 0.40 baseline that I need. Once you get to that point, you want to snug the bolts down one by one because sometimes the TPS wants to walk away. Little by little. Now you are torqued all the way down. That TPS is properly set at this point. That is your baseline, 0.4 volts. The next step is to adjust your idle voltage. At this point, we're gonna turn that idle screw in until you reach a value of 0.5. Once you've reached your 0.5 voltage value, after you turn your red knob all the way in, the next step is to adjust your yellow knob, which is your fast idle. What you wanna do is you wanna push the knob in and then start turning it clockwise in until you get a value of 0.6. Once you turn your yellow knob until you reach the value of 0.6, you wanna release the yellow knob by rolling your throttle forward. And you should be back to 0.5. Now the last thing you wanna check is your wide open throttle setting. You gotta make sure the numbers jump up evenly all the way up to around 4.5. So you do one last check. That is your idle voltage, wide open throttle voltage, 
closed throttle voltage. Fast idle voltage with the knob pushed in. Release the knob. And this is a properly set TPS. And now that your throttle position sensor has been properly set, the next step is to remove your power up dongle, fire the bike up, and adjust your idle with your red knob. You can do that with the throttle position sensor setting tool still connected to the bike so you can monitor the numbers or you can simply remove it and put everything back to stock. And that's how easy it is to set your throttle position sensor with the Nihilo Concepts throttle position sensor setting tool. For more information, visit us at nihiloconcepts.com.